it's Tanya with Scribbles in Time. Thanks so much for being here and watching my video. I'm, I'm wanting to do a flip through of my latest journal that's part of the Forest series. Um, this one is one with the dough on the front, which by the way, I'm fixing to start another one that has an actual buck on the front. It's, it's beautiful. I can't wait to show you all the, the picture of the buck and I'm gonna try to do it in a more masculine fashion. This has the dough on the front, so it's going to be a little bit more feminine. Um, the actual journal is very similar to the others in the Forest series. I have done a few things a little bit differently in this one. Um, I actually have done a couple that I have not done a flip through of, but they've already sold. So um, I probably will at some point post a flip through of those. But um, anyway, this one is actually going into my Etsy shop and I just wanted to do a quick flip through today before I post it in the Etsy shop so that people can have a way of coming and seeing what it looks like. This is the bottom and the side, the top. I think we actually have some really good lighting today. I'm so excited. It's, it's, I'm in Georgia and it's been really hot and I tend to keep my blinds shut just to try to keep the heat down a little bit in the house so that the air is not running all the time. And um, today we have kind of an overcast day, but right now we have a lot of sun shining, so the blinds are open, and it's just a beautiful day in here. So I think that's everything on the front. So yeah, the signatures, um, the stitches do show on the signatures, the string there. Um, it's covered with muslin. This is not a repurposed book. This actually is made out of the medium weight chipboard um, with the leather effect. It has that leather look about it. And the charms on this one, we have a crystal charm on the top. You can see it has that kind of a um, coppery wire look around it. The, um, if I didn't say the title of this one is Inspire because the tag here says Inspire. So I'm calling this one Inspire. And then the bottom has another one of the crystals with that wire around it. Um, I've done kind of a mixture of the different metals. This has the kind of that gunmetal silver, the journey awakens the soul. And then I use the coppery um, little brads there. Oh, and then the center has a silver squirrel with a um, one of those rock style beads hanging on it. Um, as you can see, this has the raggedies in it. The measurements of this one are seven inches, pretty much the same as all my other four series, but it's seven inches by nine inches and the spine is about two and three quarter inches but counting that bundle of twigs it's about three and a quarter somewhere around in there um the bundle of twigs is done with my normal style in other words there is a little bit of wire in there i've done it to where it's be really hard to poke yourself the wire does actually have like a moss effect covering it but there is wire in that you would want to be, I guess, somewhat careful again. I can't feel it or poke myself with it, but I just like to point that out. So on the inside of the cover, I've left it plain um, with some muslin, and you can see the stitching where the twig bundle was attached. I always like to leave that exposed because to me that just kind of adds to the rawness of the journal. The journal has somewhere around 100 pages. I say somewhere around, I know it has at least 100 pages sewn in, but then I've added extra pages to it, and you'll see that as we go. But the very first page here just has a bird with a label, and as you flip it, it is obviously a half page vertically. And um, this page has a pocket. This is the letter that introduces the new owner to their journal. I'll put that in all of my books. And then this little pocket here is um, a little postcard. And I've demonstrated what it could be used for by placing a little ticket there so that whoever gets the book kind of has an idea of what they can tuck into that pocket. All of my pictures in here do have journaling spaces on journaling space on the back, so I'm not going to take them all out. They're, most of them are attached in some form or another, but like this one's attached with the um, photo corners, but it will come out and there is journaling space on the back. A label here. This is my um, method I always use for tucking a pen or pencil 
The bottom has a little stitching coming across so that when the book is standing up, the pencil can't fall out. On the bottom of this page is a little tuck, a little small tuck area um, with a butterfly die cut and flowers and then some muslin. This tag has a butterfly with some writing space. On the next page, this is where I was talking about where I've added in extra paper. As you can see, this flips out into some writing area here. And then back here is a four pocket um, book page pocket um, on this page with some gesso in the background and some collaging here on it. And then I have all kind of different little pictures tucked into the pockets and um, tickets. This is a vintage coupon here southern oil stores and a um, card with some lines on that for journaling a tree on the front more pictures and this is a little slide of a butterfly i, I mean i should say it's not an actual slide it is faux very cool effect there and a picture of a deer just like a little baby deer. <laughs> it's thundering. If y'all hear that, <laughs> might get too loud. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is a um, dried flower from my yard, from my garden. So I've placed that in here. And I did do the little taping on the side. I love the look of that. And the flowers on both sides. Paper with a tab on the side. This page here has a little snippet or collaging up here at the top with some fabrics, all different layers of some eyelet, ribbon, some muslin, burlap, and um, some cotton fabric. There's a little button with a little deer on it. This envelope actually slides out. And inside of here is a little burlap book. Little small spaces for writing. I always say this would be perfect for writing phone numbers. <laughs> Not very big for writing big notes. And then this is a little journal booklet. Again, this kind of demonstrates how I've added extra space, extra pages into the book that I did not count. Yeah, it's definitely thundering. It might get too loud. I don't know, but anyway, here is a picture. This is actually a little tuck spot behind there, and I've tucked another little picture behind that. And then at the bottom is a little collaging with some different materials. And that's held down. Um, I, it's actually a piece of packaging that I made to look like tape. And um, it's not all the way attached so that this can come out. See? I just made kind of like some little photo corners out of that. And then some, um, I guess that's called Rit Rack Pink. I thought that was so pretty with the pink of the flowers. Some music paper. Pictures of mushrooms. And this page here, I've, I've done this in another journal, um, but I don't think I've ever done, done it on a video where I've shown it. Um, this is the center of the signature, and I um, wanted, I did not want to do away with the whole, you know, this was a big piece of paper, and I would have had to cut off pieces, so I actually turned it um, sideways or diagonally and attached it in this manner. And one of the other books, I don't think I did it in this one, Trying to remember. No, in, in one of the other books, I actually leave this, these areas open here and you can tuck journals into it. Um, in one of them, I've left these areas open and you can tuck bookmarks into that. Um, on this one, I've left it this way to where you can actually attach pictures and paper to it. And it does kind of hide that that um, stitching when it's folded upwards I'll slide it back down so yeah that just folds out like that I 
I've um, collaged on this piece of the music paper here. You can see there's all kinds of layers there, material and labels and just different textures. She's cloth. There's just all different textures here, which is what I love to do. And then I've done the stitching through it almost like a quilting effect. This page, again, I did that with the photo corners to where this can be actually um, taken out and there's writing space on the back. And then a little label here on the bottom. I'm just realizing how dirty my hands look, y'all. I'm sorry, I have been working on um, clay all morning. So I have clay under my nails and um, paint. It's probably a combination of paint and clay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just noticing how grungy my hands look. That's just a normal thing with me now, and I don't, it used to not be that way. I guess that's what crafting does to me. So this is a little flip page, and there's a definition there. Some collaging with the fabrics, the muslin, and then this just shows that you can tuck something right in there if you would like to. You can already see Matilda poking through back here. I love Matilda. She's one of my very favorites. Um, that's Jibbid's um, invention there. That's her little girl. <laughs> Not, I, I'm talking figuratively. That's her little digi kit. Um, she is so cute to me. I just love Matilda. She's like in a dream state, I believe. Here's all kind of extra paper attached with a little twine on both sides of this vertically half page here. And then again, this is Jibbed. She's attached there. The other side of that page is the actually the last page of the first signature. And um, it does have a vertical belly band on it and just different little things tucked in that all have a nature theme. Or maybe a forest theme is what I should say. This is the first raggedy. Obviously, this has the upper and lower personality for the book to kind of poking out of the top and bottom of the book. And it has a moss effect on it with some kind of ropey twine going around it and a picture of a fox. And there's all kind of twigs on here from my garden. This is a feather, obviously, and a little um, quote with some muslin. This is done on the medium chipboard. I'm going to go ahead and lay that to the side. This is the first page of the second signature. And um, you can see the muslin in between the signatures. This is that same shipping package where I've made a little pocket. Some paper there. And then a couple of things tucked into the pocket. This has a pretty belly band on it. I think that's so feminine and pretty. But yet it's done on the burlap, so it's just kind of a contradiction in itself with the rustic look and the pretty rhinestones, a bear, and some greenery. Oh, this is the other side of that little um, memo that you'll see in just a moment. It just says, discover the beauty in everyone. This is some collaging with some fabrics and paper, different textures here, burlap. This is a thicker paper. I'm not sure what kind of paper this is, um, but it is thick. This I've made into a little pocket page. This is the center of the signature, and this is where the charms are attached. Some string. And so this is a pocket, and here is your press board that I use for bearing down on. You can just tuck it behind your pages and use it as a writing surface. And it just slides right into there, like so. And then on this side, it's a little paper clip with some of the pretty fabrics sewn onto it. And a little journal booklet right here with some pretty paper. And 
And this here I've collaged with some um, real pretty fabric. It is thundering, y'all. I'm so sorry if that's making any kind of issues on the sound or the volume with the video. I said it was overcast. I didn't realize it was facing the rain already. <laughs> but it's different fabrics. Um, and this, I don't know if you can see the texture of that, but it's some really good texture. And there's cheesecloth and paper sewn in with it. and pointing out all the pretty ribbon that's sewn along the pages. I haven't pointed all of those out as we go. It's the other side of that memo that I mentioned earlier. It has the tape there. This is um, part of Jibbid's um, Matilda, the pretty lace, and that's the end of the second signature, and this is the next raggedy with the greenery and the rope, picture of a squirrel, and then some collaging on the back side with uh, another quote there, Charles Dickens, and this has the side personality for the book. This is... Um, a little bundle of papers it does untie like so and then there's papers here and it and plenty of um, the muslin left for the tying because that way you can add more papers to it this is a pocket here and tuck that in and then this just has the little um, my mind y'all I'm losing all my words I'm sorry <laughs> What is that called? A brad. It has the little paper brad there. Shipping label. I've done this side of the page like a bag with the rabbits and tucked inside of it. So you'll see that actually holds a fair amount. It's done like a paper bag. Am I even in? Oh, I'm in frame. Um, so yeah, that's done like a paper bag and inside of it is a journal book. And it's just sewn down the middle with some cheesecloth on the side. And it just goes right there inside of that bag like that. This is another center where the paper folds down again. And on this one, I've attached more of my dried flower, my pressed flowers from my garden inside of a little case that flips up, up like that with some writing space on the back. And it's attached on with a little flip with a piece of muslin. Am I in the frame? Okay, and then this page here is um, some of the tracing paper. Actually, I believe that's, that's parchment paper, sorry. And I've done a lot of the um, collaging with that. There is some lace here with some um, a quote and a picture. Touch there. And on the other side has a um, index card. This is just a pressed flower with some real pretty ribbon on the edge of the page. And that's the last page. And there's the muslin and the back cover. And then again, um, the raggedies just slide in in between the signatures right here. This pretty much completes the flip through. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments. I would love to hear from you. Um, just leave comments below. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because it is getting pretty ugly outside. It's starting to get dark in here and everything. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. And again, comment below. Hit the like button if you would, please. And um, thank you again for watching. Be blessed.